Sony has announced that the PlayStation 5 will cost $499.99 and will launch on November 12th alongside the $399.99 Digital Edition. The pricing puts Sony's new consoles squarely against Microsoft's next-gen consoles with the flagship Xbox Series X priced at $499 and the entry-level Series S at $299. Sony's PS5 will be available first in the US, Japan, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand and South Korea, with the rest of the world getting the new console on November 19th. Sony has not revealed the Indian prices or availability for the PS5. Apple has officially released the stable version of the latest iOS 14 software update for the iPhone 6S and newer models. The new operating system brings widgets to the main home screen right alongside the apps, dramatically changing the way iOS home screen looks. There's also a new smart stack widget that automatically shows relevant apps based on the time of day. The new app library is essentially a folder system for iOS that allows users to organize apps into groups and lists. Apple is also adding system-wide picture-in-picture to iOS videos, allowing videos to hover over apps or continue playing in the background. In another new feature, Apple has introduced App Clip, speedy card-based snippets of apps that let users access small parts of the apps without requiring to install a full app. iOS 14 adds several new features to the Messages app, including mentions, new Memoji features including an avatar wearing a face mask, and a new interface for group text that enables threads to be pinned to the top of the app. The update also redesigns Siri and allows Apple's voice assistant to also send audio messages. Apple Maps is getting new curated guides, cycling directions as well as EV routing to help users find the best possible path towards a charging station. Apple is rolling out iPad OS 14 for iPad Air 2 and later devices, all iPad Pro models, iPad 5th generation and up, as well as the iPad Mini 4 and above. The new version of the iPad operating system comes with redesigned native apps that make better use of the extra available screen space. Apps such as Photos, Notes and Music now have a sidebar that lets you jump between different sections of the app much faster. Another big update is the much expanded reach of Search. The new Universal Search can now be used as an app launcher to find contacts or documents, search within apps and even initiate web searches from the same window. Apple has announced new improvements to Pencil with a new feature called Scribble, which lets users convert handwritten text to typed text. It recognizes letters, shapes, and can even support multiple languages at the same time. iPad OS 14 also shares a lot of features with iOS 14. These include new resizable widgets, quick to download app clips, cycling directions in Maps, groups, and Memoji in iMessage, as well as a redesigned condensed Siri. Phone calls now appear as a compact notification popping down at the top of the screen rather than replacing the screen with whatever a user was doing. Apple has released watchOS 7, the newest version of the watchOS operating system in India that finally brings sleep tracking support to Apple Watch Series 3 and above. More importantly, all sleep data is encrypted and will always be in the user's control. Additionally, in a first-of-its-kind innovation for a wearable, Apple Watch can now use the motion sensors, microphone and on-device machine learning to automatically detect hand-washing motions and sounds. It then initiates a 20-second countdown timer and if the user finishes early, they will be prompted to keep washing. WatchOS 7 also offers shareable and discoverable watch face configurations, while a new hearing health feature gives greater insight into overall well-being and is designed with privacy in mind. Conveniently on the wrist, Maps is updated with cycling directions and Siri now offers language translation. Samsung has announced a flat discount of 9,000 rupees for its Galaxy Note 20 smartphone as part of Samsung Day's sale that will last until September 23rd. Users can also avail an additional cashback of 6,000 rupees while using HDFC bank cards, which brings down the effective cost to 62,999 rupees. To recall, the Note 20 features a 6.7-inch FHD Plus Super AMOLED display, a 64-megapixel triple rear camera setup, and an Exynos 990 chipset paired with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. GoPro has announced its new flagship action camera, the Hero 9 Black, with a new design that features a front-facing color LCD display. 
It gets a new 23.6 megapixel image sensor that can shoot videos at up to 5K 30 frames per second and capture 20 megapixel stills. The removable 1720mAh battery is 40% larger than its predecessor, while the rear LCD touchscreen is also 2.27 inches bigger. GoPro has also brought back the removable front lens cover that can now be swapped with the new Max Lens mod. The GoPro Hero 9 Black costs 49,500 rupees and will be available in India around late October. Facebook-owned Oculus has announced its second-generation standalone virtual reality headset, the Quest 2. It's $100 cheaper than its predecessor, a bit smaller, 10% lighter, and is equipped with the Snapdragon XR2 SoC that is twice as powerful. The Oculus Quest 2 also sports 50% higher screen resolution, 90Hz refresh rates, and 6GB of RAM. The headset also features a soft-touch strap, while the controller tracking has been updated with four times longer battery life than the original Quest's. The Oculus Quest 2 starts at $299 and will launch on October 13th in 22 countries. There's no confirmation if India is included in that list. <laughs>